All right, this is first grade module two, lesson 16. And in this lesson, uh, our students are gonna continue subtracting and they're gonna continue subtracting nine from the teen numbers. And what we're really gonna continue doing is focusing between two strategies, the count on strategy and then the taking away from 10 strategy. So what are those two differences? Uh, what are those two strategies? A quick recap. In the, let's take uh, 13 minus nine. So we've got 13 minus nine, and in the count on method, we're gonna say, okay, so we're gonna say nine, and you, you punch the air with a fist, and you say nine, and then you go 10, 11, 12, 13. Ah, so 13, when I said the number 13, I've got four fingers in, in the air, so that means 13 minus nine is four, so that's the count on method. The taking from 10 method means we're going to take that 13 and through a variety of ways, but I'm going to make it brief on this one, we're going to decompose using a number bond uh, 13 and 13 is going to become 3 and 10, could become 10 and 3 if we wanted, but we're going to say 3 and 10 and then we can subtract that 9 from the 10, getting 1 of course, and then we could add in the original 3 and so our answer is 4. So in both cases you get 4 as your answer, but in this lesson we're going to give students choice which method they want to use and then we're also going to ask students to think metacognitively. Well which method do they like better? Do they like the count on method better or do they like the taking from 10? method and at this point it doesn't really matter what they say as long as we start getting them into the idea of hmm they have a choice and they can use either choice on any problem and it's really up to them it's like a personal preference at this point uh, so let's get going so we've got com this uh, the directions say complete the subtraction sentences by using either the count on or the take from 10 method, and then tell which strategy you use. Now, parents and teachers, the big thing about this is um, whatever method they choose, there is no right answer or wrong answer. Uh, they can choose to use the take from 10 method or the count on method, and there is no preferred strategy for any given problem at this mo moment. Um, but although I will kind of speak to some certain general trends in terms of which strategy strategy to choose, but please don't tell a kid, hey, yay, you got the right answer of eight, but you chose the wrong strategy. No, don't, don't do that. Uh, so in this case, uh, let's do 17 minus 9 because the answer is 8. So how am I going to do it? Well, I'm going to do the take from 10 strategy. And I'm going to say, well, 17 is 7 and 10. And then I'm going to say 10 minus 9 is 1. And then 1 plus that original 7 gives us 8. So I'm going to call that the take from 10 strategy. And then I'm going to skip all the way down to the 11 minus 9. And on this one, I'm probably going to use the count on method. And I'm going to say, I'm going to punch the air with a fist and say 9. And then I'll say 10, 11. And since I've got two fingers held up in the air, when I say the number 11, that tells me that 11 minus 9 is 2. And so that happens to be the count on method. Parents and teachers, just let your students choose to use either the count on method or the take from 10 method. As long as they're getting the right answer over here, it's not quite as important uh, which strategy that they, strategy they used to get that answer. Although you do want them to make sure whatever strategy, strategy they used, they're identifying the, the correct strategy like this is the take from 10 strategy. It is not the count on strategy. So we do want students to understand which strategy they're using. So we're going to put this into practice with a word problem. It says Sheila had 17 oranges. She gave nine oranges to her friends. How many does Sheila have left? It doesn't ask, but I'm going to say what, what would the number bond look like? The number bond would look like this. If we wanted to write it as a number sentence, it would look like this. Let's see, 17 minus 9 equals, all right? Now, kind of an interesting thing. If we're going to use the take from 10 strategy, I'm going to take that 17, 
and I am going to uh, decompose it to be 7 and 10, which is interesting because up here the number bond is 17 is blank plus 9, right? Uh, so 17 minus 9. Uh, but down here, in terms of the take from 10 strategy, it's kind of curious. I just noticed this, that we're actually going to have a different number bond for 17. We're going to do 17 and 10. And then we can see that 10 minus 9 is 1. So 1 plus the original 7 gives us the answer of 8. Woohoo! So we've got the answer is 8. And I'm going to call that the take from 10 strategy. Another example. Uh, Paul has 12 marbles, Lisa. So Paul has 12 marbles, and Lisa has 18 marbles, and they each rolled nine marbles down a hill. How many marbles did each student have left? So we've got 12 minus 9 for Paul. We've got Lisa as 18 minus 9, and then let's use our strategies. So for Paul, hmm. I'm probably going to do the count on method. So I'm going to say 9, then I'm going to say 10, 11, 12. Oh, okay. I've got three fingers held up in the air. So that means 12 minus 9 is 3. For Lisa, oh, let's say I'm going to do the take from 10 strategy. So I'm going to take that 18 and I'm going to change it to 18 and 10. And so I could see that 10 minus 9 is 1. And then adding in the original 8 gives us 9. So 18 minus 9 is 9. So the question is, um, how many marbles did each student have left? Well, Paul has 3, Lisa has 9. And then I'm telling you, I used, for Paul, I used the count on strategy. And for Lisa, I used the take from 10 strategy. And that wraps up first grade module two, lesson 16, where we're going to continue um, subtracting, but we're now giving students the choice. We're giving them the choice of counting on or the taking from 10 strategy. Ultimately, both of these are largely going to be replaced by just memorizing the answers, the, kind of like the standard algorithm. Ultimately, when we have students say, oh, 14 minus 9, we want them just to immediately say, oh, that's 5. But we're doing it not through just rote memorization. We're doing it through a variety of strategies.